time, everybody clap your hands. This mom life, y'all. I need an oil change. I need to go into work. I also have a whole bunch of stuff to do at home. However, Jonah's, the older twins, teacher just messaged and, oh, I gotta talk to Malachi. Hi, Bubby. Jonah doesn't feel good, his tooth hurts. He's in the office, in the nurse's office. So I'm gonna take him some ibuprofen and I got him some hot water with salt. So he's not out here. No, I have to go to the office, you can't have it. Okay, but if you see him here at recess, tell him to go to the um, nurse's office, okay? I love you. Well, there you have it, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna drive over to the school. He actually already has a dentist appointment and he has a cap on one of his teeth or one of his tooth. And he just told me a couple days ago that it was hurting. And I said, okay, no worries. What I will do is I'll make you a dentist appointment. So I went ahead and I made him a dentist appointment, but he's actually telling his teacher today that it's hurting him. And she messaged me saying that his tooth is hurting. She goes, what do you want me to do? I was like, send him to the nurse's office. So I'm actually, he's probably nervous because his teeth is hurting. And also, go, go, go. Oh my gosh, we're both having each other go. But he just doesn't, like, I know, one of the things I know for a fact is that it's recess time and he loves to play, so that's probably impacting him. And then the other thing is that he just doesn't like things that he can't control. So most likely he's nervous. I just wanted to see him rather than like, you know, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna have to park here. I'm sorry, the office manager. I know I'm not the office manager, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I know the office manager and we'll be okay. I just got to a school. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. And, oh, there he is. Oh, my sweet baby. I see him going to the office. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hi, baby. Is it hurt a lot? Like super a lot? Let me see. Okay. Where does it hurt? My silver. Your silver a lot? Do you want to stay in school? Do you want me to take you to the dentist right now? You already have an appointment, so you'll be okay? Okay, so I got you some medicine. Okay. Don't be sorry. This is salt water. Do you want the... This is too hot. Do you have a little cup? Do you need a little cup of water? Yeah, you can go right in back here, sweetie pie. There's cups and the sink, okay? Right behind the store. Don't get too much water, okay? Because this is hot. So, so this is what you need to do. Okay, the thermos. Or this is what I was drinking tea from. So, you got water in here, but it's too hot. Okay, drink some of this. Like, I'll tell you when to stop. Because I made it too hot. Okay, so it's like a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. So, I'm gonna add. Huh? Did you want to eat No. Come here. That one, yeah. Come here. Put it in your mouth. Oh, go sure. Bobby would love it. Put it in your mouth and, like, swish it around and then just spit it out here. The water, okay? Swish. Go. Okay, spit it out. Okay, do it again. Does it taste salty? Yeah, do it again. <laughs> He's smiling. Love you too. You're okay? Yeah. Hey, listen, if you feel like you need to tell your teacher mm -hmm. that it hurts really bad, you let me know. I will come get you. It's not a problem or papa. All right? Does it feel better? I don't really need it right now. This is like, That? It, yeah. Just rinse it. Yeah. Huh? I'm ready for, it's, it's fine? No, yeah. It doesn't hurt? You're handsome, but okay, just throw it in the garbage can. I don't have one over here. Just the next closest garbage can you see, just dump it. I love you. <laughs> I took ibuprofen with me to his classroom and, or to the office where he was. Gave it to him. He says he's fine and most likely he's fine, but with Jonah, it's, uh, it's really hard to tell because he doesn't want to miss school even if he's like in pain and stuff like that and most likely knowing him it was i'm not accusing him of it but most likely that was hurting him this morning and he just didn't want to say anything because most likely i would have called a dentist and told him 
that he didn't need to go into school today or blah, blah, blah. So I left that thermos water over there still. It's like my coffee thingy. I left it over there still. And I am, I told him that after lunch, he should most likely go back into the office and just gargle it really quickly, like rinse his mouth with salt and warm water. And hopefully that's gonna help like take everything out because they actually don't brush their teeth at school after lunch, which is just, it's interesting because the school has to have like a dental exam in order for them to start school yet they don't have to brush your teeth at school after lunch but i'm no expert i'm just saying hopefully that's gonna help if anything changes i'll keep you guys updated but for right now i gotta go to a um what are they called it's pet boys AutoZone, craigan it's an auto parts store auto parts store yeah i think yeah but I gotta get oil and filter for my vehicle and then take it into my brother's car lot because this one takes full, th full synthetic oil and I don't wanna risk going to my brother's car lot, which he has a full-time mechanic there, just to find out that they don't have the full synthetic because it's not very common for them to just have it there. So I just don't wanna inconvenience or get another customer's full synthetic oil and then they get, you know, dipped out of their opportunity for oil change and filter change. I'm gonna go do that and hopefully squeeze in some work also but we're gonna see how this goes what an interesting morning life hack y'all it's really not a life hack but have a brother who owns a car lot so you can get wholesale on filters and oil i just spent 21 dollars 30 for oil filter and oil yes please thank you but yeah y'all it's not really a life hack it's just if you're gonna have a brother have a brother that owns a car lot that's what i really should have said all right y'all I'm gonna call him to see if he wants something to eat. Or it sounded like water leaking, but it was just the oil moving. Because water's liquid. Water's liquid. Because oil is liquid, that makes sense. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna call him, see if he wants anything to eat or drink, and go hang out with him for a little bit, and then go to work, hopefully. I just got to my brother's lot, and I gave his worker my SUV, oil, and filter, and now I'm gonna take out my brother. The lighting's not bad. Hardly working? How are you? I'm good. How are you? It's good. Good to see you. Holy cow. It's like it's not cold, but it's cold if that makes any sense. But the SUV is done. I'm leaving his car lot now. Um, his mechanic said that my valve cover gasket is leaking and it's leaking oil. Does that even make any sense? So I need a valve cover gasket because my car is leaking oil. My brother said he can see me next week just because it's a three hour job. At least I have oil in my car. It took all of those oils. It takes five and a half quarts, but I just donated the rest of the oil to my brother. Cause you know, it's a car lot and they're gonna need it versus me. What am I gonna do with it? Put it in my hair? Actually connected with Ryan because he's working and I didn't want to bother him, but I had to. But Ryan has had to pick up Silas because I'm on like, I'm literally clear across town right now. So he had to pick up Silas, which works just fine. And now I am going to go, I guess, pick him back up again from, I don't know. I gotta get my child back, but I gotta connect with Ryan and see what I do from here. Okay, so I made a quick, quick, quick pit stop because baby, I'm worth it. Okay, just kidding. Well, I am, but not Jamba Juice. Today, I got an orange dream machine. It's like really, really, really hard to 
and drink it because it's like frozen-ish. And I was driving past the Jamba Juice and I haven't had lunch yet and it's approaching noon. So I was like, huh, let's get me some Jamba Juice. All right, actually, you know what I want to do? I want to, I used to work in this parking lot a long time ago. That used to be a Blockbuster. I don't know, does anybody know what that is anymore? Blockbuster video. So, oh my gosh, it's all set up for a Blockbuster still. Anyway, I used to work in this parking lot years ago and actually in 2003 to be exact, and I used to live on this side of town. And I, this, there is a Jamba Juice there. There was also a Starbucks here. The Jamba Juice hasn't moved, but the Starbucks is no longer here. The Chase Bank used to be there. This used to be a grocery store. Hello, Memory Lane. And my optometrist used to be here. This was my side of town. But I just want to drive through this parking lot really quickly and see. I don't know if there's any new stores or anything that, you know, is of interest to me. Oh, there's a Wells Fargo ATM machine there. I didn't know about that. There's my optometry. And there's a really cute Mexican food catering. Huh. I wasn't aware of that. Um, there's martial arts. Oh, Chow Bella is here. So Italian restaurant, Central Valley, Central Valley Place is coming soon. Hmm, okay. Central Valley Place. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I'm just going to go down memory lane really quickly. Don't mind me. I just want to see if there's anything cute or different or interesting here. The only thing interesting or different or unique that I saw is a place called the Ice Cream Co. So Ice Cream Company, they have soup, salads, ice cream and smoothies and stuff of that nature. So I'm actually gonna have to keep that in the back of my mind or like store it up here in one of the different compartments that I have in my noggin and hopefully remember to bring the twins and Silas here because it's something I know that they would definitely enjoy and I ain't gonna lie, it's something that I would definitely enjoy. All right guys, I'm gonna go get my Sigourney. I came home and took it out of my pockets because I knew it was going to put coveralls on. It's going to be crawling on the ground. Great, now Ryan lost his wallet. I lost my wallet. Ryan lost his wallet. We're all just losing wallets. The good news is that I have one of Ryan's debit cards, so we're not all completely screwed 100% over. Jonah has a dentist appointment, and Malachi, Nani wants you, because you guys were both supposed to go to Nani's house today. Nani wants you still. Is that okay? Can you go by yourself to Nani's house, and then if Jonah's done on time, then I'll go over there and drop Jonah off also? What do you think? my child wants to go to the dentist all right so let's talk about it a little bit oh my gosh I almost fell all right so oh that would have been bad a little puddle over here we are back here he did say that the gargled the salt water gargled helped and he didn't go back to school or into the office to get more nor did he get my coffee mug back Merry Christmas you want to see if she'll turn on the TV for you you gotta ask her what do you like on Netflix so yeah, Jonah's nice and comfortable. We've got some stuff sitting over here. Use that, and he requested requested to watch Bunt. Yeah, hang on to ah, leave it. They're gonna give you a different one, okay? Twins are at my mom's house. Silas is still napping, and Ryan's got the rest of this project going that he started. You guys are. We're on our Instagram live, we're on my Instagram live, like what, a week ago? It was a Sunday. He was putting up a projector in our bedroom, so he's finishing the rest of that. Here's why I'm home. Let me explain, but first, gotta empty the bladder. You guys already know that everything that I own has to go in their home, if that makes any sense, like literally. Everything that I own has a home, except my debit card. You guys already know that. I went to go take Jonah to a dentist appointment today, and it turns out that he needs antibiotics. To be on the safe side, because if you guys have seen my videos of me trying to get prescription filled and assuming that every time a prescription is called in, that it's actually going to get called in and they're gonna work on it. That's driving me crazy. I need like a good solid background. So I'm done with that assumption. So I called the pharmacy that we usually go to and I was like, hey, before I come in, I just wanted to make sure, one, you have this antibiotic on file, like in, in stock, not on file, in stock. 
And two, do you have his medical insurance on file or whatever, dentist insurance? No, it would be medical insurance. Yeah, I know that for a fact. So they were like, yes, we have this on file or we have this in stock, but we don't show any record of his insurance information on file. That's what it is, is insurance information on file. So I was like, okay, so then I called another pharmacy and I was like, I asked them the same question. They said the same thing. So moral of the story is that in order for me to get a prescription today that I don't want to have to self pay for because the boys have medical insurance, I actually need to find his insurance card and where is the insurance card you may ask in one of my purses so let's go on a hunt I'm going on a bear hunt I need to go over it there we go one purse You already look downstairs. There's nothing downstairs. They're all up here. I know. Well, I'm doing this one. You want all of them? The hobo bag and my MK side bag, and that's it. The other MK. Okay. No. Alright, guys. What a good opportunity for a thumbnail. Hey, babe, one more thing. You guys, you won't be stinking proud of me. The first, 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 the very first. Very, very first purse that I opened had the insurance card in it. Like, oh my gosh, this is rad. I guess now I have time. Oh, you know what? I may not be able to pick up these prescriptions. You know why? I don't have my ID. I think because I'm taking an insurance card for the first time and putting it in the profile, they need a matching ID. Yeah. You know what that means? I'm not a single parent. You're going to go drop this off and pick it up. And I get to sit at home on the couch and paint my toenails pink. Yeah, he ain't going. It's my thing. Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to find my debit card also with my ID and the whole thing. I can't believe I lost something again, you guys. I lost something again. All right, guys. Out of one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve purses, satchels, knapsacks, backpacks, clutches, side bags, hobo bags. I still do not know where my debit card is. However, what I do know is I know the plans I have for you. Oh, that's God saying it to me. That's Jeremiah 29 11. So there goes that. He knows the plans he has for me. I do not know where my debit card is. <sighs> I'm going to go through all of those jacket pockets. You guys do not mind this room. Brian has rearranged it because he's up there trying to get a projector projecting. Okay, so I made it out to the car to look for my debit card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I already looked in the car a couple days ago while I was vlogging to be exact. I didn't find it. However, I did find this many Starbucks gift cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight Starbucks gift card because when you're a boy mom of three boys, people feel the need that you need caffeine. I wonder why they would think that. All right. No luck. I don't need my debit card. Um, I have cash with me and I also have Ryan's debit card, which is linked to our bank account. So like I'll be able to pay for his prescriptions, whatever the insurance doesn't cover and stuff. Hi boys. Hi. Bye nanny. Hi. Does, she look, does she look like me? No. <laughs> you guys, I am leaving Walmart. It's like dinner time. Ryan actually started Silas on dinner already. And I'm just gonna tell you, I do not like being out and about this late. It took this long for the prescriptions to be ready. Y'all, I tore up some taco salad leftover from yesterday. It was so good. Ryan had just finished up dinner with the kids. Well, actually not the twins because they ate at my mom's house. All right, y'all, this hair is looking pretty tore up. I'm gonna call it a day. I am so full that I might even crawl in bed. Yeah, right, my kids are up. Oh, this, hair, this hair looks a little bit better when you don't see the back of it. Thanks for joining us today. Still don't know where the ID is. Still don't know where the debit card is. But I'm here, but I'm leaving for now. See you guys next time. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Until Heart. next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go. Let's go.